Hello, everybody. Welcome to the activity book part three. I'm Greg, and I'm going to be drawing this time in my son's activity book. I'm going to be drawing these grid things. Of course, I'm an artist, and I'm going to see if I can do it. Of course, I'm drawing the Hulk because I like the Hulk. And I want to see if I, me, a professional artist, could actually follow these boxes things. It's basically the grid method, but I always hated the grid method. So, yeah, I wanted to try to follow that. So I started with a sketch here. A nice pencil. A lot of people say you can use the HB pencils or whatever, but I like these mechanical pencils just because they can add a bit of uh, fine details when I want to. And you have to have really good hand control so you don't draw too hard. So I was trying to match everything in the right boxes still ended up a little bit off but it still looks good Yeah, the, the difficulty of these boxes are, I don't know, it's supposed to be easy because it's supposed to be for a little kid, but I found it kind of hard also. Just lining up everything, everything proportionate and stuff. It helps, but it's not, it's not ideal. Now the sketch is done. Now time to go in with my fine liner. I use a brush pen. Um, I don't know what type it is. I got it from uh, AliExpress. Pretty cheap. It's like uh, I don't know, maybe like two dollars for like four of those, maybe three. I don't know. I don't remember, but either way, it was pretty cheap and they worked pretty well. It's actually not a brush tip. It's like a, I forget what you call those tips. But they're kind of hard, but they're not quite chisel or anything. Draw those little baby hulk ears. <laughs> I always thought the fine lining made the art look so much better. And sometimes the pencil looked better than the fine lining, but sometimes it just adds that that finishness to it. Al dente. <laughs> That's about noodles, not not lining.
as you can see theirs look a little more mad and mine's look a little more worried it's like hulk smash i don't know maybe not only thing i added was uh i filled in the uh, the hairs the eyebrows and the, the head hair i probably shouldn't have did that though it makes it look a little weird I didn't have any method to this hair. I just wanted to color it in. I don't really do hair much. Unless it's just like a block of hair. Yeah, and here you go. That's the finished product. Colored in Hulk hair and a worried Hulk. Tragic. The Straw Earth's newest Avenger, you. So I drew my son, the owner of this book. So his name is Greggy. He is four years old. I chose this picture to draw because he he posed like a, a superhero and I'm just a weirdo in the back smiling. We're at the river. I want to take a picture with him. He posed like, I don't know, some superhero or something. So I decided to draw him as a superhero. I started off with a sketch here. Of course, it's not already drawn for me. So of course, you know, I got to thumbnail it and design it a bit here and there. I went through some, through some trial and error. Eventually we got somewhere. Draw that fist there. He kind of went with the the straw hat Luffy pose. So I came back with a plan. It's always good to have a plan, especially when you're a parent. Being a parent is pretty fun. I don't know why people think being the parent is like the worst thing in the whole world but it's really not and that's just being dramatic it's like oh my goodness i can't do what i want now uh, but in reality you need money to do what you want anyway so you gotta go make that money and then try to do what you want there but kids are it's a different route and then you can get to the same place but now you got an extra person on the side I got a, a little side quest here with more of a fullness for your adventure. And kids aren't even that expensive. That's also a, a exaggeration. Like, yeah, sure, you got to buy, buy diapers and things like that. But then, like, you also have a car and you got to put gas in there and other stuff. People pay car notes for some real weird reason that's just more expensive than a child anyway but anyway without that stuff there's a human and there they can be cute they can be cuddly they can be fun sometimes they can be a little uh, difficult but at the end of the day, there is, there's more good than evil, or good than bad. And you can only try to be your best when you're being a parent. You know, it's just teach a person and uh, help them, help them grow, help them learn, help them be a good human, 
and you can only be a good human trying to teach them how to be a good human and you have to learn by example and that's the hard part <laughs> you have to think about that when you don't have any kids you just do whatever you want to do but that's the good thing growth is good change is good sometimes but this one is more of a good change change is usually good as you don't have to get comfortable and you can grow scary huh but yes I think the uh, sketch is now done it's time to go in with Oh no. Oh yeah, I had to draw the cheeks on them. <laughs> Not the cheeks. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but I think the sketch is not done. Now going in with the fine liner. Have to make the eyes kind of shut so you can be like, yeah. I'm a superhero, what's up? Yeah, I'm 40 years old. Still whoop some bad guy tail, You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I don't know what his powers would be. When he was born, he was born in the winter. So he's a, he's a really hot baby. My wife would literally use him as like a, a heater because <laughs> she would lay by him and he would just radiate heat. And he was actually red. He wasn't even black yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was like really red though. I called him Red Hog Baby because he was also a mad baby. Like if he didn't feed him at the second he wanted, he was like, Aah! You know, when he was first born, he had this really loud cry. And I'm a quiet man, so I'm like, okay, this baby gonna be quiet like me? Nah. He had this really loud scream. And I was like, whoa, this scream is emasculating me. <laughs> I'm the dad here. You're not supposed to be louder than me. <laughs> but yeah, he, he got the lungs on him. I did a little shot out there at this shot for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess I did. Also, the hair is uh, a good key feature for him. It's a really long hair. We didn't cut it. I cut it like a little one in the front to make a little shape up, but it didn't stay. He still got the long baby hairs. Yeah, I erased the the pencil and here is the picture <laughs> and then there he is there's that frown that little bean head the fist yeah try to match it there there's me looking like a dork <laughs> I just wanted to take a smiley picture but anyway subscribe thanks for not watching um i'll see you later and i hope you like this video bye